tier list under 10k end of 2022 here it is we have compiled all the smartphones of 2022 under 10k here in our tier list dati kasi guys hindi kasali yung smartphone nyo sa amin top 10 minsan may miss out yung smartphone nyo gusto namin kasali that's why we made this all 47 smartphones to be ranked overpriced needs improvement sakto lang maganda na at super sulit. Super sulit is our god tier list. The highest, the most prestigious tier of all. Konti lang ang pwede maging dito. And if nakabili na kayo ng phone nyo, this 2022, at hindi yun super sulit, may chance pa kayo na bilhin to. Kasi it's still available in the market. Pero yun, ready na ba kayo na malaman kung anong tier ang inyong smartphone or kung naghanap ng smartphone dyan in 2022 para gamitin ang inyong 13th month. This is the right time. I am so excited for this. So what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Up at Bins, and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Who? Okay, ito na. Kailangan ko ng salamin. Kasi malabo mata ko. Kaya nga ko laging ganyan, na. Ah. At saka mas tumatalino ako pag ganito. Okay. Okay, first phone. Xiaomi Redmi 10A. Saan kaya to? Hmm. Ito ay? Ito ay? Needs improvement. Ooh. Harsh, harsh. Bakit naman? Well, based sa aming specs page, Redmi 10A has a Helio G25 processor. Ew. 3 gigs of RAM. Yuck. 64 gigs, okay na. 720p. Pero ito, mas masakit. 60 hertz. <laughs> Ouch. Hertz. Get it? Meron siya 5,000 mAh. 10 watts. And how much is this? Ito po ay 5,999. Mamaya malalam niyo kung bakit Needs improvement. Dahil sa competition guys. Ganun nakatindi ngayong 2022. Okay. So, Redmi 10C. Saan siya? Saan siya? Uh, super sulit po to. Sakto lang. Ay, sakto lang. Bakit siya sakto? Well, ito medyo pogi yung specs. Snapdragon 680 4G. 464 na siya. 5,000 milliamperes, 18 watts fast charging. Mas mabilis. At meron pa siyang 50 megapixel camera. And all that, uy, di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo eh, dagdag ka lang ng few hundreds. Meron ka ng 464, better processor and everything. Snapdragon pa. 6299 lang siya. At meron pa siyang 128 to. 7299 naman. Pero para sa akin, sakto lang yan. There are much better offerings here. Katulad ni Infinix. Nako! Anto. Well, since green si Infinix, over... Hindi, joke lang. Ilagay ko mo na sa super sulit to ah. Kasi alam nyo naman, Infinix yan eh. To Infinix and beyond. Naka Lord! Helio 822! 464! Okay na yan. 720p? 13MP? 5000mAh at 18 watts. What are you doing? 5490. Although ito yung P so far pinakamura. Ah, hindi ko approve yung 822. No? Nasanay na kasi ako sa magandang mga phones ni Infinix na medyo competitive yung mga processor but 822 sinampal tayo ng processor ni Infinix dito. I would have to say bababa to, to sakto lang. That's right. This video is not sponsored. Lahat na ay malalaman nyo. The truth and nothing but the truth. 200% truth guys. Sure ka ba dyan? And the truth is, si Infinix Hot 12i ay sakto lang. But what about the Infinix Hot 20s? Bago lang yun ah. Bagong labas. Eto, based on our specs page, it says here, Helio G96, Ooh, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, 1080p our first, no? 1080p, wala pa tayong 1080p, 120 hertz, meron 50 MP, camera, triple, 5,000 milliampers of battery, what in the world is the pricing? Uy, 8,000? This is nice, 8,499. I gotta say, I, I might put this Way up here, no? Hot 20S, super sulit. That's right, guys. Super sulit po to para sa akin. Napakasarap tingnan ng specs niya for that price. Nalala nyo to? Tatlong video ginawa ko dito eh. Parang impossible na yun dito. Super sulit. Pero ito natin namaya. TCL 30SE. What is this phone? Sino si TCL? Guys, hindi lang po TV ang merong TCL, no? Meron din silang cellphone. TCL 30SE. Naglabas po sila this year. Try lang daw. Try lang. Natin kung okay. Well, Here's what I can say about your trial. Helio G25, 4128, 720p, 50mp. Uh, okay. Ui, for 4999. Okay. Not bad, no? Meron ka ng 128 gigabytes. Ooh. 
Okay, so, akala ko kasi 5,000, 6,000 na to. Pero nung nakita ko yung price, 4,000! What? This is... Uh, maganda na. That's a good try. Magaling. Ang ibig sabihin nito, baka pwedeng galingan pa ni TCL in the future. Bigyan tayo ng 55-inch cellphone. But seriously, sana kumuha pa kayo ng phone sa Philippines. Realme! This is controversial. Realme is the number one brand sa Philippines. But not in the world. No? Kung makita mo si India, it's not Realme. It's... Xiaomi. Ganun din sa US. Hindi naman si Realme dun eh. At kahit sa China, it's not even Realme. It's only in the Philippines. What's happening? Well, wala naman kasing Nadine Lustre sa ibang bansa. Wala rin silang Beans Domingo. Ah. Kapal na mukha mo! <laughs> but yes, Realme. Ito na siya. Narzu 50A Prime. Oh, ito yung napansin ko sa mga Realme, Narzu phones. Baka Unisoc sila. What's with the Unisocs today? Meron siyang T612 and uh... 464, 1080p. Okay, ito lang ha. Pag nakita ko ng Unisoc, talagang cringe. Now, although more siya gawin, it's just not optimized for gaming. And the support, terrible. And for the price of 7,290 and 7,990, this is hard to recommend. No? Uh, gosh, I think, wait, nagkamil lang dito, hindi na siya real me. Narzo na lang pala siya. Standalone brand na daw siya. But for me, this is sakto lang. Okay, so nung una kasi, Realme pa rin kasi si Narzo. Kaya nung lumabas si 50i Prime, Realme Narzo siya. Pero ngayon, meron na tayong Narzo 50i Prime. Wala ng Realme branding here. Baka mas mura na ito. Oh. Tignan natin. Narzo 50i Prime. Unisoc ulit. 332. 720p. And Realme UI Go. Yung isang phone dito sa list na 49999 is TCL 30SE. And mas maganda yun. Medyo malayo. At yun, maayos yung kanyang software. Hindi siya, hindi siya Go version ng Android. So, this is... Mm, uh, needs sakto lang. Sakto lang. I guess dahil daw sa itsura niya. No? Mukha daw siyang iPhone and things like that. Sakto na. Mura na eh. For nine. Pero, feel, pero feeling ko needs improvement. Medyo ganun ako. Uy, Samsung! Samsung is in the list. The Samsung Galaxy Zero A03. Ano to? Ano to? Ito mo tayo sakto lang ha. Kasi I know, Samsung medyo matas yung price. Let's check it out. Uh, Unisoc. Okay, it's got a lot of configuration. 3, 4, 32, 1080p, 5,000, 332. Umaabot na ng 5,000. Hindi ko alam kung nagpapatawa si Samsung dito. Kasi it's, it's not funny. Hindi ako natatawa sa nakikita ko. Samsung, Although maganda yung TV nyo, your TV is the best in 2022. Pero your smartphones, entry level, are overpriced. By the way, personally, meron akong Samsung TV S95B, the best in 2022. Infinix Hot 12 Play. To Infinix na naman. Siguro maganda na. Tinan natin. Ito na. Naku, Unisoc na naman. Mukhang puro Unisoc na guys ang pinapakita sa entry level phones these days. And it's nothing good. Pero, bumabawi siya, 464, 90Hz refresh rate, at ang laki ng phone, 6.82 inch. It's got a massive battery, 6,000 milliampers, and 18 watts fast charging. And all this for only 5,000. Nakita nyo yan? Si Samsung kanina, 5,000, 330 to lang. Ito, binigyan tayo ng 464, and a bigger battery, and a bigger phone, at 90Hz refresh rate. Ayun. This one is, it's not super sulit, guys. It's, it's just nice. Siguro, Maganda na para sa akin. Tama na pala, no? Maganda na siya. Let's check out the next one. Samsung ulit! A4 naman to. Okay, ilagay ko muna sa overpriced. Baka kasi magbago, maging needs improvement na. At ito na nga. Holy cow. For the first time, no? Helio P35 naman. Hindi na siya Unisoc. At marami siyang configurations. 5,000 mAh. 720p display. 50 megapixel camera. Let's check it out. Oh, no! 6,409... Press 332! Nope. It's still overpriced. Infinix Note 12 G96. This is it. Alam ko yan. Ako nag-rate nito eh. Dati pa. Guys, kung alam nyo, maswerte ka. No? Kung binili mo to, maswerte ka. Alam mo ang ginagawa mo. You've been watching my videos. You're well informed. I love that. Dahil, itong si Infinix Note 12 G96. I obviously, meron siya Helio G96. Kaya nga ganyan pangalan niya. Hindi lang yun. Meron siya 8 gigs of RAM. 256 gigs of internal storage. Meron pa siyang AMOLED display. Play the first in our list to have an AMOLED display under 10K. This one has 
5,000 milliampere of battery and for the first time then 33 watts fast charging so wala ka nang kahirap-hirap mag-charge hindi ka maghihintay matagal also has a 50 megapixel camera this one is a no-brainer for under 10k wag nyo na bilhin yung 8128 bilhin nyo agad yung 8256 1,000 pesos lang yung difference dapat dito pinapalakpakan na lang eh Alam mo agad yun eh. The Infinix Note 12 G96 is surely super sulit in my list. Kaya lang guys, meron akong problema. Alam nyo ba kung bakit? It did not give me the same amount of shock, amount of wow factor na nabibigay ni Infinix Note 12 G96 kanyang price and specs. When I saw the Infinix Hot 20S, wow, it's impressive but it's not AMOLED under 10K, it's not 33 watts. Pero beans, meron siyang 120Hz refresh rate. Hindi ba wow factor yun? Well, ito kasi yan, no? Yung processor kasi niya ay hindi ganun kabilis para mag-push ng 120fps sa mga games. So, it's pretty gimmicky at this price range. And with the Infinix Note 12, yung combination ng AMOLED plus kahit 60Hz lang, no? Plus yung G96, panalong panalo. It all makes sense. And that's why, bababa to dito. I'm sorry. Prestigious po ang super sulit here sa atin. Bayaran nyo na lang ako Infinix. Para itas to. Don't joke lang. Google! <laughs> Isa na naman Samsung! Galaxy A04S. Okay, so... Si Samsung Galaxy A04S. Kasi kanina A04 lang walang S. Ngayon may S na. Ay, may Exynos 850. And a lot of configurations. Meron na siya 90Hz refresh rate, 720p. Um, pwede to ah. Pwede, pwede. 5,000 mAh. And syempre yung price. Price. Oh! Oh! 9,000! 9,720p! I would have to say this phone from overpriced ay naging needs improvement na. Ayun. Lapakan natin ang ating sarili. Next! One of my favorite brands this year. Poco. Pag binaliktad, Ocop. Well, but inalike ko agad ito sa sakto lang para is it an up or a down? Okay, so, ayun. Nice! The first Helio G99 processor in our list. Mabilis po yan. It is the latest and greatest G-series MediaTek processor. And of course, 464 na siya. 90 hertz refresh rate. 1080p pa. 6.8 inch malaki. Meron pa siyang 64MP triple camera setup. And a massive 6,000 mAh of battery. 18 watts fast charging. No doubt, this is going places. Pero ng place niya. And, okay, so meron siyang mas malaki sa 10K, which is 10,499, no, 6,128. Pero meron siyang version na 9,499 lang, which is 464, 9,499. Ang pairamdam ko sa kanya, no, it, it did not give me the chills, just like the Infinix Note 12 G96. Hindi ako masyado naihi sa excitement. Siguro konting squirt lang dun sa ilalim. Just like the Infinix Hot 20S. Ayan, maganda na. Although love ko si Poco, Kaya lang, with their recent Poco M series, not so much. And yes, si Poco M4 was already 5G. Ito naman ay 4G. Next up is the Oppo A17. Uy, ba? first time ha, Oppo. Okay, so, si Oppo kasi matagal na sa Pilipinas. At uh, ipangalan na siya. Medyo tumataas yung kanilang prices recently. And I'm not getting the same vibe. Not the same vibe as what I get from Infinix, Poco, Redmi, mga ganon. And that is why, wait lang ha. Baka ilay ko masin sakto lang muna. Now, although pogi siya, no? Ano may pogi kung magugutom ka lang naman? Doon ka na sa mayaman sa specs. Matagal ka niyang papasayahin. Mga gwapo, minsan na lang, no? One night stand, tapos na. And will you get that one night stand with the Oppo A17? But next day, benta mo na. Ay, naparoon ko kayo si Unbox Diaries para mayroon mas maganda. Benta. Helio G35. 464. 720p. Okay naman, so far so good. But at the price of 8,000! 799 naman. Ang hirap nito guys, G35 as 8,000. This is terrible. This is unfortunately, it is overpriced. Now speaking of Oppo, meron pa ang Oppo dito. Oppo A57 2022 i4G. Meron siya ang Helio G35, 464 720p, 5,000 mAh battery, pero 33 watts of fast charging. Super vo. The question now is, the price. For that, you're going to get 8 Nine! Alam ko, alam ko na parang overpriced yung itsura niya. Parang, oh, parang wala naman special dito. But, nag-isip ako na mabuti. Nag-isip talaga ako, guys. Yung kanyang specs, no, even though hindi ganun ka-impressive, it's not as mind-blowing as the god tier of smartphones in my list. G35, not power-hungry. 5,000 mAh battery. Matagal maubos yung battery. 720p. 
power saving display and 33 watts fast charging this technically is one of the best battery phones around long battery life po ang ibig sabihin niyan so if you don't cherish the performance that much pero kung gusto mo talagang pamatagalan this might be your phone to get yun yung value niya so not necessarily no, na puro specs lang kailangan maganda yung processor agad which is actually for me ay decent na dito Helio G35 is decent pero siguro for for 8999 hmm pwede siguro ng 7999 pwede na yun but 8 hmm Oppo A57 ay Sakto na para sa akin. Sakto. Ilalagay ko sana sa overpriced to pero sakto na to. Nokia C21. The OG smartphone brand. Ito ay uh, Unisoc. What? 2 gigs of RAM? 2 gigs? Are you kidding me? Nokia. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin matibay ang phone nyo. Matagal na kasi yun. 3,000 million pairs. Kung narilis to nung 2005. Yes. <laughs> State of the art to. Pero... <laughs> 2022. Okay, so, pero yung mag magkana ba to? The price! The price is 5,000! Well, kanina nakakatawa si Samsung, no? Made me giggle. <laughs> pero talaga, clown, clown level of funny. Okay, ito na nga. Kung meron nanonood dyan na executive ng Nokia, hear me out. Although kilala na kayo dati pa, sikat na kayo Nokia eh. OG. Ngayon kasi guys, iba na. Iba na yung competition. Sobrang competitive na naman specs and prices ngayon. Your offerings are outdated. Medyo lag na masyado. Paano kayo kikita sa Philippines? Kung ganito yung binibigyan sa amin, show us competitive phones. Actually, ito na. Sasabihin ko na sa inyo. Nokia C21. Ayan, overpriced. Nokia C2. Overpriced. Check na lang sa aming tier list page kung bakit. Nokia C31. Ayan. Nokia G21. That's right, folks. Overpriced po lahat ng Nokia phone. Kung mahal mo lang talaga yung brand. Kung gusto mo lang talaga na Nokia na branding na phone, masabi lang meron ka Nokia phone sa yung packet. Walang pumipigil sa'yo. Pero, para sa akin, overpriced siya. Overpriced, pero hindi ko sa namin packet, ha? Iba yun. Baka <laughs> magalit kayo sa akin. <laughs> now, going back to the number one brand, Realme C31. Ito yung bago mag C35. 31. Now, hindi lahat ng mga phones ni Realme ay patok. Maganda yung price. Actually, most of their offerings are quite needs improvement, overpriced, or pretty much sakto lang. And pretty much all their phones are unisock. Stop na. Huwag nyo nang gawin to sa 2023. Itigil na ang mga unisock processors. Ito ba yung Chinese processor? MediaTek is Taiwan. Okay ba yun? Snapdragon is from the US. So yeah, technically, it's Chinese. So, 332, 720p, 5000 mAh. This is a hard pass. Guys, mahirap to. 59990. This one is needs improvement. Ito, balita kay Poco. Poco C40. Naalala nyo to. The Poco C40 is 5,000, 332, at 59990, 464. Ito ba yung JLQ processor. Ano yun? Parang JNT ba yan? Nope, hindi maganda ang specs niya. Pero para sa akin, no? uh, there are some other factors here. No, okay naman siya. Like the big battery, 6,000 mAh and 18 watts of fast charging. Pero para sa akin ay, uh, ito ay sakto lang guys, sakto lang. Nothing blowing me away here. Infinix Hot 11 2022. That's right, meron pong Hot 11 this year. Na sakto lang para sa akin. Alam niyo kung bakit? Dahil naka Unisoc siya. Unisoc. It's got 464, 1080p display, 5,000 mAh, pero 10 watts of fast charging lang. And the price is 5,799. So that's sakto lang for me. But this one is interesting. Hot 20 5G. Wait lang. Lagi ko muna sa sakto lang. Infinix Hot 20 5G. Ano meron dito? Okay, so, oh my. Somebody's being serious. Now for the first time ever, meron tayong 5G Dimensity 810 processor from MediaTek. Ay guys, pwede din yung video ko nito. Hot 25G. Meron ba tayong video nun? Wala tayong video na Hot 25G. I need to review this. Bibili na lang ako guys para sa inyo. Oh my God. What am I thinking? 4, 1, 2, 8. 1080p display. 120Hz refresh rate. 50MP camera. 5,000mAh of battery. And 18 watts fast charging. Magkara to? You get 5G. At the price of only 9,499 pesos. 4128 na. Na-blown away ako dun sa Dimensity 810. There's that magic. No? If I see that specs, which is hindi mo nakikita talaga sa ganitong presyuhan, that same level of feeling 
with the Infinix Note 12 G96. Super sulit po to. Dalawa na. So far, si Infinix pa lang super sulit. Wala pa kay Xiaomi. Wala pa kay Tech, no? Baka kay Huawei. Mas Huawei, lumabas dito. Poco M4 5G ay... Uy, 5G na. 110K. It's actually maganda na. Ayan. This is not blowing me away. Not like the Hot 25G. Kasi ito ay Dimensity 700 lang, not the A10. And it's got a 464, 1080p, 90Hz refresh rate display. And, and the price... price Oh, yun, yun nga. Same, Same price, price as the Hot 25G. Mas maganda yung processor nun. And 120Hz refresh rate na rin. This one did not get that same level. So maganda na. But what about its brother, big brother, the Poco M5S? Ito ay sakto lang. So ito naman. Uy. Oh, okay. Wait. Uh, this one is good. Helio G95. AMOLED display. 90 hertz refresh rate, 5,000 milliampere of battery, 33 watts fast charging, less than 10k. To, but there's also 64 MP quad camera setup. Um, for me, why? Why is this? No, I saw it on the tier list. We have on the website. They, they put it on the editors. Ko, sa sakto lang. No, I think the reason why is because it did not have that same impact as last year's. Pero para sa akin, no, with the competition right now, no, medyo angat to compared to most phones, sasakto lang. Pero hindi siya yung kasing level talaga nila, ha, 25G. It's not the Infinix Note 12 G96 level. Pero beans, halos the same lang siya with the Infinix Note 12 G96 lang siya. Ito naman, G95. Wait, 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 wait. Um, what we're missing out here is, guys, 464 lang to si Poco M5s, si Note 12 G96 for less than 10k. Meron na 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. Alam sabi dun. It's not the same impact. So for me, eto ay only maganda na. Realme Narzo 50. Yan. Dami ng Realme talaga dito, no? Realme Narzo 50. Ooh, Helio G96 6128, 120Hz refresh rate. 5,000 milliampers and 33 watts. Ay, para sa akin, maganda na. Oops, maganda na. Redmi Note 11. Ay, sakto lang. Snapdragon 680 4G. For, uh, ay, may AMOLED na. 90 hertz refresh rate. Uy, maganda rin to, ha? May 6128 ka na for less than 10K. This one is really nice. Nope, hindi siya sakto lang. Maganda na siya. And, techno, techno. Yun, yung hinanap natin. Tecno Pop 6! Guys, kung hindi pa alam no, si Tecno, Infinix, at si Itel ay under one mother company, which is si Tanshon. So, mga sister companies lang sila, Infinix, Tecno, Itel. Pero ba't ganun? Bakit hindi father company? At bakit hindi brother companies? Sister companies? Dito dyan lang mababash ako. Pag sa brand ba, daughter company? Hindi son company? Last mo nila. <laughs> Tecno Pop 6! I needs improvement. Check na lang sa ating website kung bakit. But here it is. No, pero bago yan, wait lang. Iran ko muna yung iba kasi it's going to get exciting moving forward. Okay? Medyo nahirapan ako dito. Okay, Tecno. <laughs> okay, Cherry Mobile naman tayo. Cherry Mobile. Cherry Mobile Aqua S10 Lite. I needs improvement. Bakit? Check na lang sa ating website. Si Cherry Mobile Aqua X naman needs improvement din. Ay, ito yung kanyang specs. That's why... Needs improvement then. Nakita nyo na agad eh. Ayan na. Cherry Mobile Aqua S10 ay nasa sakto lang. Kasi naka Unisoc processor daw siya. 464 720p. At pang luma ang display water drop. Okay, so far, pala nyo mabablown away kayo kay Cherry Mobile. But no, dami na lang needs improvement. Dami na lang sakto lang. But what about the brand new kid in the block? Which is si Wiko. Wiko 10. Ay, needs improvement. Ito yung sinasabi ko ha. Sobrang competitive ng market ngayon sa smartphones. It's hard. If you're a new player in the market, kailangan talaga competitive ang specs nyo for the price. And, uh, mas important yung specs kisa sa itsura. Yes. At least for the Philippine market. And kasi hindi pa masyado kilala si Wiko as a brand. So, you have to somehow bumawi kayo sa ibang part or ibang aspect. Wiko T3? Ay, sakto lang. For me, Check nyo sa website kung bakit. Wiko T10. Ay, needs improvement. 
And that, my friends, is the Wiko series sa smartphones under 10K. Ang kinakalimutan na natin dito si Vivo. Sana si Vivo. This is the number two brand in our country. Alam nyo ba yun? Wala kayo pakilam? Vivo Y01. I need improvement. Although pogi siya. No, actually, for me, number one si Vivo in terms of yung itsura. Saya ito ng phone. No? Sila yung pinapogi para sa akin. But like I told you, pogi can only take you so far. Iba para talaga pag maganda yung specs sa loob. Okay, Vivo Y02. Ganun din. Tapos si 02S. Needs improvement then. But, finally, guys, I'm happy to tell you na merong medyo okay-okay na Vivo phone. Which is si Vivo T1X. Now, huwag kayong... Okay, but it's maya na si, eh, medyo mababa si Vivo on our list. Baka kasi nakabili ka ng Vivo phone and parang hindi kina tuwa na mababa siya sa ating list. Okay naman si Vivo, no? Okay yung kanya software support at saka ang pogi-pogi niya tingnan. If you're not really into specs, no, kung masaya ka na na maganda at pogi ang inyong phone, that actually matters for many people. But yes, this is the reality. Mataas po ang standards namin sa aming tier list. So there. Kung gusto nyo pa tumaas yung pero baka pwede pa tumaas, you know? The price is right. Hindi, joke lang. Ah, meron pa lang Vivo Y16. Ayan. Saan na lalaki? Needs improvement. Okay, so yan. Tapos na tayo kay Vivo Y16. Actually, their phones have been acing it in terms of the design. Muna doon silang iPhone. And tapos na po tayo. Tapos na po tayo sa boring part. Here comes the less boring part, which is si Honor. Guys, kung di nyo po alam si Honor. Honor po ay dating na po na sa Pilipinas. Kaya lang naging quiet sila. They actually relaunched this year with their Honor series. Honor X, Honor Magic, mga ganun. Ito po ay sa brand ni Huawei, kung di pa alam. Pero alam nyo ba na si Honor X6 ay... Ay, hindi ko pa rin mag-gets kung bakit ganito yung kamalang specs at yung itsura niya. Luma-luma na to. You know, the, yung apat na camera sa likod na square na ganyan. And yung kanyang display, water drop notch, and uh, the specs. What? Ano to? And you're selling it for $7,490,464. I must say, the comeback is not yet real. Lumalabas sa akin ngayon na nawala kayo for 2-3 years. Tapos yung last product nyo nung 2018, Nilabas nyo lang ngayon. That's how it looked like. Guys, Helio G25? And yung design? Let's not cry about it. Kasi mayroon mas better sa kanya. Which is the Honor X7. Which is... So, nalagay ko si X6 sa needs improvement. Ayan. X7 naman. Ayun. So, medyo better ha. 684G. And we're getting a big battery. 48MP camera. 90Hz refresh rate. And... Ito, medyo mukhang Huawei na P50 Pro. Ayun. Meron siya yung dalawang malaking camera sa likod. For 9,000! This one, I have to say, honestly, that the Honor X7 ay hindi na needs improvement. This one is sakto lang. We're nearing the end of the show. For these final phones, I think, ito na ang hinihintay ng lahat. What phone? Everyone's favorite phone. The Realme C35. Now, now, bakak sa iyo bumili ka ng Realme C35 and na hype ka. At di nyo alam yung specs ito ay alam 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 mo sabi. The Realme C35 is the closest that you can get na kamukang kamuka ng isang iPhone. I mean, look at it. Tina mo yung phone, yung likod guys, kamukang kamuka niya si iPhone. Minarket nila to as oh, mga iPhone less than 10k. But little did you know, na hype ka na paggastos ka bigla dahil akala mo maganda. The Realme C35 is needs improvement. Kasi naka-unisok po siya. 464, 1080p. There's nothing exceptional here. Mabagal din yung charging. And there's something that prevented me from getting this to overprice kasi nga meron siya 128GB sa 9,499. Pero basically what you're paying here for is that iPhone look-alike design. Which is para sa akin is valid naman. If that is the value that you bought for this phone para pagyabang. Ano yung iba? Yung iPhone nga, binili para sa status. Oh, may iPhone ako. Wala pa kailan kung kano siya kamahal. Basta meron akong iPhone. At para sa mga tao dyan na hindi kayang afford ang isang iPhone. This is your next best thing. Just not my next best thing. Okay. That is why needs improvement lang para sa akin. Si Realme C35. Next is 
Meron tayong dalawang Huawei phones dito, okay? Huawei Nova Y61. This one was recently reviewed on our channel. And this is a needs improvement phone. You know why? Kasi yung kanyang processor ay since 2017 pa. This is a very old processor. No. Uh, 664. Then 720p display. 5,000 mili. So, nakikita nyo guys, specs pala. Parang, there's nothing that's blowing me away here. At ayun na nga, nung no, nakita ko yung price, 7,999 pesos. Friends kami ni Huawei. Ayaw ko naman masyadong i-bash yung kanyang product. Pero I just want to real talk. No? Real talk. Para mas umangat talaga kayo sa market. Ngayon kasi ang hirap bumenta ng isang phone na ganito na kamahal at wala masyadong amazing specs. Tapos kanyang itsura, eto ah, design pa lang. Guys, maraming phones out there na mas lamang sa design. Mas guapo compared kay Huawei Nova Y61. Ay, wala rin siyang notable specs. Siguro 6 gigs of RAM. Yun yung pinagmamalaki niya. Pero ito yung something na mahirap talaga tanggapin. No? Although meron mga third-party apps that could help you download Google, give you Google services, it's just not the same experience. No? It should be something normal lang na naging feature na siya ngayon kasi nawala siya. I know what happened in history. But it's tough. It's tough to recommend a phone that doesn't have Google services right out of the box that costs this much. It's... May rap, may rap. I'm just here to help. Yung naman. I'm not here to bash, but to help. Siguro kung hindi nyo masyado kayang itasan yung, yung specs, at least galingan nyo na sobra sa design. Ayun. Parang super pogi, eye-catching. Ayun na naman. Next is the Huawei Nova Y70. Ganun din. No needs improvement. Alam nyo na yan. I won't go into detail on why, but i-check nyo na sa aming website kung bakit. Okay, so natira dito is puro techno. And then iTel Vision 5 and Cherry Mobile Aqua S10 Pro 5G. So, start tayo kaya feeling ko mayroong super sulit dito na matitira eh. Tecno Pova 3. Okay, saan to? Maganda na. And you know what, guys? Dalawang Tecno Pova po ang inilabas nila this year. Pova 3 at Pova 4. Now, with a Tecno Pova 3, ito po yung kanyang specs G88, 6128. Nakita nyo yan? Sobrang panalo agad yung specs. 90Hz refresh rate. Malaking phone siya, 6.9 inch. It's perfect for gaming. This this phone is just so, so good for gaming. 7,000 milliampere of battery. 25 watts fast charging. Napaka-beautiful. Napaka-sarap pakinggan sa tenga. Actually, this was a hard choice, no? Uh, putting this... Wait lang. Balik muna tayo. Check ko muna si Tecno Pova 4. Kasi, pinalitan niya, pinalitan niya. Si Tecno Pova 4 ay malaking jump in terms of performance dahil sa Helio G99 processor. This also has a big RAM, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, although you did gave up the bigger battery. So, 6,000 na lang instead of the 7,000 milliamperes ni Pova 3. Meron ka na rin 90Hz refresh rate. Kaya lang, naging 720p na lang itong Pova 4. So, parang nag-exchange lang sila ng specs. Ngayon na tanong, which one matters the most? Well, actually, para sa akin, hindi ko ma-distinguish ang isang 720p at 1080p display, not unless pinagtabi mo sila. Also, the 1000mAh battery difference is almost negligible, but the difference between the processor of the Helio G88 and the G99 ay napakalaki niyan. Plus, you get more memory. I would say, mas maganda ng konti itong si Tecno Pova 4, kaya lang wala akong in-between ng maganda na at super sulit. Hindi ko pwedeng ilagay si Tecno Pova 4 dito sa super sulit kasi it did not give me that same wow factor nitong dalawang to. So I'm gonna put this right here katabi lang ni Pova 3. Okay, so what about the Itel Vision 5? This one is maganda na for me. No, Itel pala is part of Transion kasama ni Tecno at ni Infinix. This one has Unisoc din. Um... 720p display, 5,000 milliampere. But here's the thing. Ang presyo niya, ang pinakamababa sa ating listahan dito. With only 3,799 pesos, 332, and yung pinaka-okay, kasi 4,999 kanina, di ba? Ngayon, 4,099, meron ka na 464. That is the only phone here in the list na medyo umokay. No, kung ganun lang talaga yung budget mo, this is the best for that price. Although, hindi siya 
super wow factor na super sulit. Para sa akin, that is maganda na. Cherry Mobile Aqua S10 Pro 5G. Wait lang. Dati ba ito nasa super sulit? Parang, wait, super sulit mo na. Okay, so, yun pa lang. Dimensity 700. 4128. 1080p display. So, may 5G na siya. 5,000 mAh. Okay, so, naging super sulit to dati nung lumabas siya earlier this year. You can actually get something this good for only 7,000 mAh. 999 pesos. Kaya lang, marami ding lumabas na mas okay sa kanya. Yun lang. Uh, kung wala siguro yung iba, this could have been part of the super sulit tier list. Tier rank. Hindi pa rin. I'm sorry. But you go down. Sorry mga Cherry Mobile fans. Huwag nyo kay bash. Now how about the Techno Pova 4 Pro? This one is interesting, no? Noong nakita ko to, parang sabi ko, okay. May pro version na si Pova. Lagyan ko mas maganda na. Okay, so Techno Pova 4 Pro. Now, the Techno Pova 4 Pro, although wala siyang 5G, ay naka Helio G99 na. Again, just like the G96. Diba? Si Infinix Note 12 G96 ay G96 lang. Ito G99 na. And get this, meron na rin siyang 8256. And meron na rin siyang AMOLED display na 90Hz refresh rate, 6000mAh of battery, seryoso, 45 watts fast charging. My, oh my. This is... Di ko na kaya ito ah. <laughs> Totoo ba to? Oh my god. Totoo. Ngayon din ako sure kung dapat bang kasama dito si Infinix Note 12 G96 after nito. Oh my god. Uh, guys, super sulit to but I'm not putting away Note 12 G96 for one good reason. Si Infinix G96 ay merong mas murang variant na mas abot kaya. So, if you don't need the 8256, kasi si Techno Pova 4 Pro wala siyang 8128, pero si Infinix Note 12 G96 ay meron for only 8,999 pesos. So, kung ganun lang budget nyo, ito na, ang bilhin nyo. But, kung 8256 lang naman ang habol nyo, if you have 10K talaga, it's no-brainer para sa akin, Techno Pova 4 Pro takes it and Probably the best smartphone in our tier list. Even better than the Infinix Hot 25G. Even better than the Infinix Note 12 G96. Pero lahat sila ay pwede. Pwede na sama-sama sa super sulit. Kasi it has the wow factor. Without the wow factor, maganda na lang. Last but not least, Techno Pova Neo 2. Si Pova Neo ay murang version ni Pova. Neo for new, I guess. Helio G85 6128. 90Hz refresh rate, 7,000mAh of battery, sounds like the Pova 3, pero at a better, much more attractive price of only 6,999 pesos. Ooh, mm. but 720p, 6.8 inch, uh, gotta say, maganda na. Just maganda na for me. And that, my friends, is the smartphone tier list under 10K. The best of the best, well, and the worst of the worst. For 2022, <laughs> nalaman nyo na kung ano yung okay at hindi. I'm just not sure kung nasama ko lahat yung mga smartphones. Baka kasi may nakaligtaan ako. This is only for 2022 ha. Hindi kasama yung 2021. Or kung meron na kayo 2023 dyan, <laughs> hindi pasama yun. 2022 muna. And guys, hopefully, natuwa kayo at nakatulong ako na sobra sa inyo sa paghahanap ng mga cellphone or para lang makita nyo kung ano yung worth na inyong phone. Ito naman, this is what this list does. At kapag meron pa kayong hinahanap na phones dyan, no, at gusto nyo malaman kung gano'n siya kasulit talaga, laging updated po tong tier list namin, i-check nyo na lang sa aming website, unboxdiaries.com Smartphone tier list. Go check it out. And also, watch mo rin tong video habang chinecheck nyo yun. Okay? <laughs> Up next is, syempre, ano may kasunod? Under 10K. Syempre si 15K, 20K, 30K, Mas exciting yun. Mas competitive yun. Grabe ka competitive. Mga 15 to 20k. Ang gaganda na mga processor na. Ang gaganda na lahat. Ang hirap na masyado mag-decide kung ano yung mga tier tiers doon. Pero pag walang Google, may madali lang. <laughs> okay, hindi joke lang. If you wanna see more videos just like this one, mag-subscribe ka lang. Hit the like on so that you don't miss any of my great content. But it's Vince. You're watching Unbox Diaries. Uhu.